leading the way with important local coverage. You're watching WISN 12 News at 9. One of our finest. Put on that uniform. Put on that badge. Went into work last night and paid the ultimate sacrifice for protecting our community. A Milwaukee police officer killed in the line of duty. Chief Jeffrey Norman's emotions on full display. His impassioned plea to end violence of all kind. Tonight, team coverage as the community honors fallen officer Peter Jerving. We're also hearing from Officer Jerving's inner circle, including his partner's wife. Officer Jerving, part of their wedding just years ago. Tonight, the moments only those closest to the officer can share. Off the top tonight at 9, Milwaukee is mourning a fallen officer. Peter Jerving killed in the line of duty. He had only been with Milwaukee police for four years. His family saying tonight he served the city until his last breath. Jerving died this morning in a shooting during a struggle with a robbery suspect. That suspect also dead tonight. The chief identified him as Terrell Thompson. Police say Thompson was responsible for a robbery near Tetonia and Good Hope and the deadly encounter with Officer Jerving near 14th and Cleveland on the city's south side. And there's these powerful images only a few hours ago, a procession taking the fallen officer from the Milwaukee County Medical Examiner's Office downtown to Krause's funeral home in Brookfield. We have team coverage tonight as we come on the air, including words from the wife of Officer Jerving's partner. Earlier today, a stirring message from Police Chief Jeffrey Norman telling everyone the violence needs to stop. Hillary Mintz is leading us off with that message tonight. Milwaukee Police Chief Jeffrey Norman holding nothing back hours after one of his officers died in the line of duty. The violence needs to stop. The violence needs to stop. Neighbors waking up to a barrage of gunfire just after 1.15 this morning. What did you hear? Um, I didn't hear much. Um, my mom woke me up because uh, she said she heard like 20 gunshots. And I woke up and there's like a bunch of sirens and um, a lot of police coming. The chief says two District 4 officers were after a robbery suspect identified by family as 19 year old Terrell Thompson. During the encounter, the suspect, a struggle ensued in which the suspect fired shots, striking Officer Peter Jerving. Officer Jerving discharged his firearm, striking the subject. 37 year old officer Peter Jerving died at the hospital. The chief's voice breaking, tears brewing while speaking about his fallen officer. One of our finest who put on that uniform, put on that badge, went into work last night and paid the ultimate sacrifice for protecting our community. The community feeling the loss and recognizing the fear officers face every day. I really feel for the family of this officer and, you know, for all of us because, you know, it's just, it's scary to even go out just to get in your car nowadays. Hillary Mintz reporting now to Officer Jerving's inner circle. Tonight, his partner's wife sharing some insight into Peter Jerving's The Person. Kristen Pierce has that story from the newsroom. Derek, I talked to the wife of Officer Jerving's partner. She says they were more like family. She talked about her brother. That's how she described him. Silly, fun, always smiling, and sharing memories that will last forever. Julia Nowak says Jerving was in their wedding a few years ago. She says today's loss is huge. He would do anything for anyone. He had a laugh and a smile that lit up the room. Just a, a super wonderful person, always goofy, having a good time. Um, never mad, upset, any of that. And Kristen, how is Julia's husband, Officer Jerving's partner, doing tonight? Julia said her husband is heartbroken, understandably a lot of crying, she said, looking at old pictures and videos. Uh, but a group of friends is gathering together tonight, and she says being around people who loved Officer Jerving is helping. It's truly defining the brotherhood in blue. Kristen Pierce live in the newsroom tonight. And also tonight, an enormous showing of solidarity from fellow first responders. Caroline Reinwald is live downtown, where hundreds escorted the hearse from the medical examiner's office to the funeral home in Brookfield. Caroline. 
Right, starting here at the medical examiner's office, traveling about seven miles out to Brookfield Krause Funeral Home there. That procession long enough to shut down parts of the freeway along the way just hours ago. And we do have exclusive views from the sky in News Chopper 12 following that procession, as well as cameras on the ground capturing the emotion of the moment. Officer Peter Jervin's loved ones holding each other at the medical examiner's office, walking by dozens of saluting police officers. That long procession stretching under the American flag draped at 9th and State by Milwaukee fire crews. Officers also saluting family as Jervin's body was brought into Krause Funeral Home in Brookfield. Strangers paying their respects to the fallen hero. How'd you hear about the officer's death and what was your reaction? I was actually coming home from Bible class and I heard it on the radio and then I started reading about it and I, I feel so horrible horrible for the family. We are just here to pray for the family and to pray for the city of Milwaukee as we grieve the loss of this wonderful officer. He's so young. He's my daughter's age and we're just here to pray and support. We love Milwaukee. And Caroline, what are you learning, if anything, about funeral services? Well, Derek, I reached out to Milwaukee Police Department and they told me no service has been set yet for Officer Jerving. Caroline Reinwald live downtown tonight. And there is news tonight on the suspect in the deadly shooting. The police chief identifying this man again as Terrell Thompson. This morning he was a robbery suspect. A source tells 12 News Thompson stole a car and a phone in the robbery and officers tracked his phone to Milwaukee's south side. Just one day before the deadly encounter, a judge sentenced Thompson to 12 months probation for a misdemeanor conviction in a pair of hit and run crashes. And Jerving's death came four years and one day after the most recent line of duty death for Milwaukee police. It was February 6, 2019, when a gunman opened fire from inside a home, killing Officer Matthew Rittner while he was serving a search warrant for guns and marijuana. Two other officers lost their lives the previous summer. Officer Charles Irvine Jr. died in a crash during a chase. And weeks later, a wanted man ambushed Officer Michael Mahulski inside a building, shooting him from behind. We have extensive coverage of this breaking news on the 12 News mobile app and WISN.com. And we've posted all of the comments and tributes from fellow law enforcement agencies and public officials. You can also watch in their entirety both news conferences with Police Chief Jeffrey Norman and Mayor Cavalier Johnson. Let's pause here for a moment to turn to Weather Watch 12. Mark, we should enjoy tomorrow's weather before Thursday where it gets pretty messy. Yeah, Thursday's not going to be pretty. Tomorrow is going to be delightful, however. Quiet out there right now, 37 degrees. We've got clear skies across the area. Temperatures will fall back down into the 20s. It is cooler inland at the moment. Looking pretty quiet there at Mitchell International. Uh, pretty moon tonight as well. You want to go check that out. So, uh, you no worries as we head throughout the nighttime hours. We've got kind of a bunch of systems coming together. We've got this area here, this area here, this area here will kind of semi converge, bringing us that messy forecast as we head into Thursday, but not for tomorrow, not for tonight. Clear skies for tonight, not much wind. That's not nice, not much wind for tomorrow either. Sunshine on the way. How long that lasts and a lot more on that messy forecast for Thursday coming up in Weather Watch 12. All right, Mark, thank you. Right now, President Joe Biden delivering his second State of the Union address, touting record job growth coming out of the pandemic. So let's look at the results. We're not finished yet by any stretch of the imagination, but unemployment rate is at 3.4%, a 50-year low. We've already created, your help, 800,000 good-paying manufacturing jobs, the fastest growth in 40 years. The president is also expected to call for unity and police reform in the aftermath of the police beating death of Tyree Nichols in Memphis. Nichols' parents are in Washington for the speech at the State of the Union address. Tonight on 12 News at 10, our political director, Matt Smith, will break down the biggest moments from the president's address. Early voting for this month's primary in Wisconsin started today in Milwaukee. Milwaukee has seven early in-person voting sites. They are open through February 18th. The primary is tw the 21st, and you can register to vote in person on Election Day. We posted the full list of locations and hours for you right now on WISN.com. And Souls to the Polls is giving you a free ride to the polls on Election Day. Throughout the duration of early voting, volunteer drivers uh, are picking up residents so they can cast their ballots and return each voter to their home. 
the handicapped, the elderly, those who have no transportation, those who have no money for transportation. You can call us and we'll give you a ride free, free of charge. And that is the key word, free. The rides are available now through February 17th and again on primary election day, February 21st to schedule a ride. Here's the number on your screen, 414-383-1821. Our coverage continues tonight as the city mourns Officer Peter Jerving. We will share the support pouring in from across the region, including from city, state, and federal officials. Plus, the special honor Officer Jerving received just a few months before he died. The role he played in saving a man's life. And the search for survivors continues tonight in the massive earthquake in Turkey and Syria. Tonight, the help coming from the United States as the number of dead continues to climb. Watch WISN 12 News on your schedule. Download the Very Local app and stream for free on Roku and Amazon Fire TV.